Who will win this year's Indianapolis 500? We'll talk to the drivers to find out what they predict. More when we return. Welcome to another special edition of The Adventurer, the show where people truly push their lives to the limits, no talking heads, just the real deals. I'm your host, Jim Clash. The 91st running of the Indianapolis 500 takes place this weekend. Today, we interview more of the brave men and women competing. So we're here with Michael Andretti, who finished third last year and was leading with 197 laps in the book. You've led the most laps of, of any current driver that hasn't won, right? This is, what, what race, how many races is this for you now? I think 15. Something the fifth, like 15 start in the Indy 500. Can you win it this year? Because you're the fan favorite, i got to tell you. I really believe we have a good shot. You know, last year uh, I didn't feel as confident as I, as I do this year. I think we have a fast car, uh, one that's going to hopefully be consistent. And uh, I, I think we're going to be, uh, you know, I think we're definitely one of the favorites. If you don't win it this year, will you come back and run it again next year? Uh Odds are against it. I'm not going to say no, but uh, at this point, I don't think it'll probably happen. How old are you now? I'm 44, so it's, uh, I'm getting up there, you know, and uh, it's getting tougher and tougher. This year is a lot tougher to get myself back in shape and stuff like that, and, you know, I know it's not going to get any easier. So, Danica Patrick is driving for you this year, a lot of press about her. Do you think she has a good shot at uh, placing pretty high up in this race? I think she has a good shot at winning the race, personally. I think, uh, you know, as a driver, I've been really impressed with her. Uh, nothing phases her. Um, she's going to be a major factor at the end of the race. If it comes down to you having to pass her for the win, will you do it? Yeah, and <laughs> she'll do it to me. You know, I mean, it's a big, it would be a big story either way, uh, but, you know, she has more chances to do it. I'm, this is probably my last chance. How about Marco, if you have to pass him on the last lap? I'll do it, you know, just like he did to me, you know. And uh, um, if, and if I do, you know, either way. I mean, if, if he wins, I already win. So, Michael, we wish you the best of luck in this race. You really deserve it. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, we're here with Sarah Fisher. Uh, Sarah's going to be driving in her sixth Indy 500, so let's say that Sarah is a veteran. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope so. You sure do learn a lot every year that you come to Indy. Well, I think Sarah still holds the fastest lap ever by a woman, uh, over 229 miles an hour. That's correct. That's correct. And when did you do that? Uh, that was in 2003, once again with Dry Rambled Racing, the same team I'm back with. So there are three female drivers in the Indy 500 this year, yourself, Danica Patrick, and Milka Dano. Uh, I guess my first question is, do you have any advice for Milka? Uh, now having, a, be, you're a veteran, six years in, in the race, uh, and this is her first race. Any advice for her? Just be patient. <laughs> That's all there is to it. You know, she did a wonderful job at the Kansas race. Uh, she ran all the laps, and she had a very clean race. And, you know, we're expecting her to do the same, and I think she will. You know, you're one of the fan favorites uh, in Indianapolis. I mean, the, the fans there love you. A any reason for that? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just a down-to-earth person. I'm the girl-next-door type of personality, and I, I love to smile. <laughs> you, you grew up in, was it, was it Indiana or Ohio? Ohio. Commercial Point, Ohio, which is really a small town, so Farmerton City. <laughs> you, you and uh, Danica Patrick, um, uh, are you guys friends? Uh, well, you know, you're not really friends with anybody that you compete with. Um, you know, she has her own you know, team and has her own focus, and so do I. Tell our viewers out there what it's like to go into a turn without letting off the throttle at over 230 miles an hour. What is that like? You have to be pretty precise about what you do at <laughs> 220 miles an hour. It's, it's not uh, something that you manhandle it. It's a very precision movement, and you have to make decisions very quickly in a short amount of time. Okay, here with Dario Franchitti. Dario, thanks for coming on. You, you, I have to ask you about your wife, Ashley Judd. It is a dangerous sport that you're involved in. H how does she support you? I think Ashley's main consideration is that I win races. You know, she, she's, she knows that that's what makes me happy, that's what drives me, so she wants me to win races. The best thing I can say about Ashley is she's so supportive. She, she's actually filming at the moment. She came back for pole weekend. She came back for my birthday a couple of days ago, so whenever she can, she comes to almost every race in the, in the calendar, and she's just there supporting me, and it's, it's awesome. That's fabulous. Now, what, what do you think about the race coming up? Uh, what do you think your chances are? What kind of race is it going to be? It's going to be an interesting race. Um, there's some new technical regulations this year. We're not sure how the cars are going to work in traffic. It seems there's probably eight very fast cars. Um, and I'm just hoping One of which is yours. One of which is a Canadian club car. So I'm hoping we're going to be up front and we're going to be in there battling for it right up until the end. A great situation for us would be all the five Andretti green cars up front. 
and sailing off in the distance. But it, I tell you what, it's, whatever happens, it is going to be a hard race. You know, you, you guys, you and Kanan and Marco and Michael, and then there's Danica Patrick. She's the, the sort of the lone woman in the group. How, how is it to, to work with her? Does she hold her own with you guys, practical joke-wise, in on the, on the track? If you'd asked me that three days ago, I'd have said, no, she's been really, you know, quite calm and not getting involved in that side of things yet. But then it was my birthday two days ago. Uh, I was doing an interview, and the, all four of them came in at me with cakes, and she was definitely involved in it. So now it's open season. What's it like uh, on the front row coming down there for the green flag? you got 33 cars, uh, I mean, just tremendous number of horsepower. It's got to be uh, a scary moment and an adrenalized moment. How do you sort of check the two? You've got to remember it's the first lap. You're not going to win the race in the first corner. Um, I will say, though, it's a lot easier to start in the front row than it is in the second last row where I started my first 500. Well, there you have it, straight from the horses, or should I say horsepower's mouths. I'm Forbes Adventure Jim Clash. To read my column, pick up Forbes magazine or click on Forbes.com slash adventurer. And thanks for watching the Forbes Video Network.